Hello and welcome to Diecast Restos. I'm Jason and this is a Lesney Matchbox 58A BEA coach. It was produced from 1958 until 1962. The casting was based on a real coach, the AEC Regal 4, that was operated by British European Airways from 1952 until 1973. BEA commissioned 64 half-deck coaches from AEC, which were modified from standard Regal 4 buses to accommodate luggage. This is how the real buses looked. They ran the 14-mile route between the West London Air Terminal in Kensington, London over to Heathrow Airport. Passengers would check in at the purpose-built facility before boarding the bus to the airport and the awaiting aircraft. Now, there were some issues with this method, such as a build-up of heavy traffic en route would often mean that the plane was delayed departure. Nevertheless, the terminal operated through until 1974, with the final Regals running the route until 1973. Bus services between the two destinations would continue until 1979. Lesney introduced this casting to the Matchbox series six years after the Regal launched. It is a relatively simple construction, including the body, base, two axles and four wheels. The base is supported by a tongue and slot fitment at the front and a ridged lug at the rear. All were painted blue and could be found enhanced with silver trim to the front to the BEA badge, headlights and spotlight to varying levels. Early issues like this had grey plastic wheels with crimped axle ends. They also featured plain white British European Airways text decals. These decals were later replaced with black text on a white background, with BEA appearing in a red box. Black and rare silver plastic wheels were then fitted with rounded axle ends. There are some extremely rare boxed versions of the 58A coach. Those with a D-type box fetch several hundred pounds, where others attract a far lower price. It had a four-year lifespan in the Matchbox series, being replaced by the Drott Excavator in 1962. Regals running the Kensington to Heathrow route began being replaced by Routemaster buses towing trailers from 1966. The Regal casting was painted quite a dark blue, similar to the brilliant blue I've applied here. However, the real thing was a paler shade of blue or grey on the lower section, with a white upper section. For the detailing on mine, I've chosen to pick out both headlights, the front spotlight and the BEA badge. My decal is also period specific. I've purchased a reproduction lettering type instead of the logo on a white background sort. This came from Model Supplies and I'll leave a link in the description. The font is authentic and mounted to a slightly yellowed translucent backing. It really helps give it that period look. Finally, I have to align the base fitments and force the back end in over the rear lug. So here is how my 58A British European Airways AEC Regal 4 coach appeared originally. This is a simple casting that was feeling the effects of some playwear. It also had some significantly rusted axles, which were difficult to free up due to their diminutive size. This airport coach also needed some new decals to replace the worn out ones for either side. But now, let's take a look at the result of this rapid restoration. While the blue is not authentic of the real coach, this Tamiya TS44 Brilliant Blue is a perfect match to the Lesney original. I've gifted it the full chrome trim treatment, the maximum it would have left the factory with. It also gets some new lettering for the sides, which is accurate to the Lesney font. The model has grown on me over the course of this brief restoration. I had no idea it was based on a real vehicle, and it is quite accurate to how the AEC Regal half-deckers looked. It has a lot of potential for a custom in the proper two-tone livery, I think. But that's for another day. If you've enjoyed this fast fix, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Drop me a comment if you want to see a custom attempt on one of these, and visit my Patreon for a preview of next week's build. But all that leaves me to say is thank you for watching, and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye for now.